Hello, <clears throat> welcome back. This is chapter two, lesson three, and it's percent proportions. And uh, the first part we're going to talk about is from the math antics video. What percent is it? Question mark. So in the video, he uh, gives a sentence here, and it says 10 is 20 percent of 50. So what is he talking about here? Like setting up a proportion. A proportion is two fractions that equal each other. So what is he talking about here? Well, the first thing is 10. That is going to be over 50. We know 10 over 50 is, is means equals, uh, 20 over 20 percent. Well, 20 percent, a percent is uh, a number, a fraction with 100 in the bottom. So t 10, you can make 10. Um, into 20 by multiplying by 2. Mul take 50 multiplied by 2 because you know it's 100. It works. So you take 10 by 2 right there and you get 20. So um, this is just kind of the setup here, okay? So how what is, what is this all about? Well, what we're going to be doing today is you know right here that with the proportion, it's going to be a percent. That A percent is out of 100. It's always going to be 100 right here on the bottom. Okay. Well, there's three other parts to this proportion, and the three other parts are first the part of uh, the part of the problem, the part of the whole. Okay. So the second second thing is the total. So in this case, ten is the part. Little arrow there, and fifty is the total. And what's left? Well, the percentage. And we know it's over 100, so it's just going to be 20. It's the percent. So it's going to be, in this case, it was 20 over, um, it was 20 over 100. So that's the percent. The percent is 20. Okay? So what you're going to be doing is sometimes they're going to be giving you two out of the three. You know that this is always going to be, um, it's always going to be 100 right here. Right there. It's always going to be 100. So here we go. Let's look at an example. So sometimes you're going to have three different types. Sometimes they're not going to give you the part. They're, so this is the. This should be the part. Sometimes they're not going to give you the part, and you got to find it. Okay. Um, sometimes they're not going to give you the percent. Okay, and then sometimes they're not going to give you the total. Okay, so let's look at an example. Okay, in the video, it was it. Well, we know it's going to be part over the total, or some people say part over the whole. The whole thing equals the percent over a hundred because a percent is over a hundred. Okay, so in the video, um, here we go. Uh, the example that he gave was 35. His uncle had been to 35 states out of 50, right? Out of 50 states. Uh, what percent is that? Well, you know that it's going to be 100. What percent is that? Okay. So we have the part. We have the whole. Um, what are we looking for? We are looking for the percent. And you can use uh, percent. I, I even thought about using a percent sign as a variable. You could even do that. Okay. So... There's 35 over 50, and then let's go back. How do you need, you need to make um, 50 into 100. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could just divide 30 by, by, 35 by 50, or you could um, make 50 into 100 by multiplying by 2, and multiply the top by 2 and getting 70. So the answer should be that the uncle has been to 70% of the states, 70%. Now, um, we're going to continue. Here we go. Next example. Part, remember, it's part over the total equals the percent over, the, over 100. Okay? Part over the total equals percent over 100. Okay? Uh, in the next example, it was 28 out of 80. Okay? Equals what? Well, in this case... You're looking for the percent. Instead of making it into a, what if 80 doesn't go into uh, 100, right? What do you do? So 
what you can do is divide. Fractions or division, we did this yesterday in um, number 27 uh, in the textbook. Okay, so you divide it. 28 divided by 80 gives you 0 0.35, right? It's asking for a percent. We want to find the percent, so we need to move the decimal twice, and the answer comes out, move it twice, it's 35%. All right, so here we go. Let's do one more example, and then I'm going to actually have you guys set up problems on the next page. All right, what percent of 90 is 9? So obviously, what are we looking for? We are looking for the percent in this case, okay? So what do we have? We have 9, and we have of 90. Now normally of can mean multiply, but if of 90, that is the whole, okay? So this, that's the total. So let's do this. This is the total, T, and this is going to be P for the part, okay? And then percent, we would just use a percent sign if we were looking for the percent, but that's right here. That's the percent, okay? So here, how do we set this up? We set it up. Part over the total, that's going to be 9 over 90, okay? Equals the percent over 100. Let's make it 100, okay? 100. And we don't need the percent sign anymore. So if I set that up, we're looking for the percent. We're looking for percent. It's going to be over 100. Okay, let's continue. What do we do? We can do a couple of different things. We can divide 9 divided by 90. It's the fastest way. You could also cross multiply if you wanted to. You could cross multiply up, right? And um, you would get uh, 990 and divide by 9, um, divide by 90, all right? But what we can do is just take the 9 and the 90 and divide it. So it's be 9 divided by 90, okay, which gives us 0 0.1. Well, I have to move the decimal twice. So no matter what I do, I move it twice to the right. Now, in case we're doing to the right, we're going to the right because we're going from D decimal to P percent on the alphabet. So we would go to the right on the alphabet, D to P. So when we do that, we move it, we get 10%. Okay. All right, next page, page 31. Okay. We're going to set up some proportions here. So the first question, I'll have you write it down and copy it down. What percent of 25 is 20? So what are we looking for? We're looking for the percent. We're looking for the percent. It's obviously percent because I wrote a percent sign. Okay. What do we have? We have of 25, okay, and we have 20. Is 20. This is going to be the total. This is going to be the part. The part no, the part is not, it's usually smaller, but it's not always smaller. You want to look for of 25, okay? So when we set that up, how should you set it up? I'm going to pause for a second. All right, how do we set it up? It's going to be 20 over 25 equals what percent over 100, right? Okay, now what would you do from there? You could multiply by 4, multiply by 4, and you get 80, so it would be 80%. Okay, that's what now sometimes it's asking for the percent, sometimes it's not. Let's see what the next one says. All right, uh, $12.75 is what percent? Obviously, we're looking for percent of 50. There's the of 50. Usually, when you see the of, it's going to be your total. Okay, and this is obviously your percent. Sorry, percent. Okay, and then this is going to be the part, 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 okay? What do we do? How do we set it up? It's going to be the part over the total, which is 1275 over 50 equals what percent? Divide that out, and I'll do it right now real quick. 1275. divided by uh, 50 equals um, 0 0.254. Right now, I'm not caring about the answer, actually. You know what? I want you to know that you can, you can um, set it up, okay? Let's go to the next one. Let's zoom in here. 
All right, part C. What, what number is 5% of 60? So again, we have of 60. Of 60 is looking for your total. Okay. 5% was obviously 5% is a percent. So this is your percent. Okay. And then what are we looking for? We're looking for a number. Well, the only thing left, we know it's going to be over 100. Um, the only thing left is the part. So it's got this has to be the part that you're looking for. So when we set this up, right, it's going to be what part, let's use P for part, over 60, because 60 is the total, equals 5%, which is 5 over 100. Now, what do you do to solve this one from here? You, this one you have to cross multiply. You can't just divide it. So this one you have to cross multiply. Okay. What are you going to get? You're going to get um, 100p. We're looking for p for part. Okay. So 100p um, equals uh, 300. You're going to divide by 100. Divide by 100. And you're going to get p equals Three. So the answer, the number, it's looking for a number, not a percent. The number is three. So three, so that's, does that make sense? Is three five percent of 60? That sounds about right. And you can always check it by putting it back in and seeing what you get. You could put it back in right here, divide it, three divided by 60, and you should get 0 0.05, which is five percent. Next one. 12... Uh, percent of 85 is what number? Well, we have the percent right here of 85. That's your total. Is what number? That's going to be got to be your part. Okay, so we're going to write that down. We're looking for the part over the total, which is 85, and then 12 percent goes right there, and 12 percent is 100. There's your setup. I'm not going to answer that one right now. We're just going to do. I just want to make sure you get the setup. How would we? How would we uh, answer it? You're get, 85 won't go into 100, so you're going to have to cross multiply and then divide. All right, next one. 40 is what percent of what number? 40 percent of what number of? There's the of what number, right? Is 26. Well, this is your percent right here. This is your percent, obviously. Okay. Of what number? I'm not sure yet. But of what number? Well, of what, right? Over here. Of 85. Of 60. Right? This is your total. So you're looking for the total. That means this has got to be the part. It's the only part left. Ha ha. So divide that out. I get 26 over W. We're looking for the total. Okay, we're looking for the total. This is going to be the total. Um, you can use T for total or T or W for whole. Some people say whole. Okay, um, so we're looking for W or T if you want to use T. Okay, it's just any variable will work. And then the percent goes over and it's over 100, so it's 40 over 100. How do you solve it? You cross multiply. So cross multiply and you'll divide by 40 because you're going to end up having 40t or 40w. Okay, last one. 84 is 75% uh, of what number? Uh, this is obviously the percent. This is um, of what number? That's got to be the total. And then this means that this is the part. So it's going to be 84 over what number? 84 over W or 84 over T for the total um, equals 75 over 100. That's your setup. Okay, so very important that you can set this up before you can solve it. Okay, um, pre appreciate it. Take care. Um, we'll see you again.